review that. It's going, it's going. So the golden, the Colorado golden trout. Always do this. They always play with it before they bite. That was close. I nearly had a cat come and jump on me. And that's the bite. And this is a decent sized fish. So that's a 12 pound line he's putting a lot of strain on too. Oh, don't do that. Don't jump. It's got to be a trophy, surely. Nope, there you go. Ah, oh, happy. 12 minutes into the peak time and we've got the unique. Ah, oh, not my best unique and I don't care. Any unique's a good unique. That will keep that. And just so people can see what I'm using to catch that. Entirely far too heavy a rod. Um, but it's the only one I've got that will cast that distance. Hornet Swarm 5000 is actually not a bad reel for that rod at all. It's nice reeled up. Pear shaped float. See, pear shapes get you the most distance of any float. And number one hook, grasshoppers, and I've got a 12 pound line. Um, I've got a 17 pound line with me. Um, so I've been using the 17 pound line with this rod and reel combo. But I find the 12 pound gets me the, the unique trout here. And then location is Trout Galore, right over here on the far right. And you're just casting out to here, and it's a line leader of 31 inches. So those are all the ingredients. Cast out 150 odd feet. And let's put it in just enough for the float to settle. And then the trick with the Colorado Golden Trout is its patience. It's quite slow fishing by the standards of this game. But what you can do is you can put out more than one unique in a session here. And if you check my Twitch highlights, there are actually uh, there's a recording of two uniques in the same game hour. Another fish there. golden trout. It's playing and it's playing and it's playing and it goes. And then you just reel it in. So you can you can see this is not anywhere near the tension I was getting on the unique. So this is a, a smaller fish by quite a way. It gets a trophy. So at least you will get the trophies here. So a unique cutthroat and a unique golden, all in the same game day. Happy with that. It's not as far out as I hoped. Check, scroll up, there's the cutthroat. And there's the rather smaller, but still unique, go oh, Colorado golden trout. Now this might sound a bit stupid, I'm not sure 144 feet is a good spot. And it's 146 to catch the fish. <laughs> I don't know if the game's going to penalise me for those two extra feet.
go. Some interest. And silent again. Golden cutthroats, you think you're in the wrong place because you keep catching really small fish and then suddenly the unique pops up. With these guys, you think you're in the wrong place because nothing happens. It's when something does happen that you get the fun. It does look as though I am just a little too far away from the rock wall here. So yeah, let's let's bring that back in and cast it out again. It's a better cast. Seven. That's annoying. It's very hard to reel in just one foot. There we go, and I reeled in two. Something, sir. I'm gone again. You know, the lines a lot more slack now. They dragged the bait around a bit with the danger that they might actually drag it out of the area in which they are spawning and which they don't bite. Which might be what's just happened. A little bit of slack out. Yeah. So it's 147 feet of wave. Now I'm only 142. There's a fish there. So that's probably a trophy. Might be a normal. Might be on large size normal. There you go. Nice little trophy. They're actually quite pretty little fish. Most of the trout in this game are attractive looking fish. To be fair, it's one reason it's really, really fun fishing in Oregon is you just keep catching pretty fish. I've done it again, right on the edge. Can I just use the rod to drag it off? I can, let me go. That's the hot spot. It is just as you get off that slope. But again, it's just had a quick play and run off again. Well, that gave me no warning. 
I reckon that's not a Colorado trout at all. It could be a white bass. I've had a my personal best white bass actually from that spot. Nope, that's the trout. Just a little one. Okay, let's just go a little bit to the left there again. And I just twitched my mouse hand as I pressed the button to release that. Ah. So even though the float's in too shallow water and hasn't settled, I was getting some tension there on the line. Let's just bring it. There we go. Slack out the line there. And then draw it all back again. That is heading off to the left. And we've gone. Oh, this is a bigger. No trophy. It was pulling well at the start, but it's tired very quickly. Shows what I know. Look at that. That's a tiny, tiny little unique. But it's a unique. There we go. One little unique, as promised. And it's still not even 8pm. Yeah, that's fine. Just draw cells. Oh, I'm right on the edge now. Straight into a fish. Pulling at it. So fundamentally, you, you want your golden trout to play with your bait. Because it's actually seen the, the unique to play with it more than the little ones. Hmm. You don't want to stop playing with it though. Oh, come back. Come back and take that. I've never had uniques on two consecutive casts. Uniques only four fish apart is actually rather unusual. I'm happy with that. And I've still got my unique cut float up there. So I've only got £62 in the net, well, on the stringer, which even in Texas would be a, a slow day's fishing, but that £62 includes three uniques and that's never a bad day's fishing in this game. So 
something there. And it's gone again. slow on the strike there. Just take my hand away from the mouse so I don't accidentally knock it and put off the fish. That's this tiny little thing. Look how fast that's coming. Okay, it's a tiny little trophy. I'll take that. Slope, bring that back in a little. There we go, that's where we want to be. No, you get the float exactly where you want it fish immediately grabs your bait and drags it somewhere you don't want it and then buggers off. I think nothing's going to happen. Something happens. Uh, nope. It's uh, gone again. I don't think I'd be able to fish like this in real life. I literally just wouldn't be able to see the float. 146 feet away. My sight just isn't that good. Especially when you once you factor in that a lake like this surrounded by trees is going to have a whole ton of leaf and branch and crap floating on it, making it even harder to see the float. Going again. So that's the third nibble I've had since I cast out. None of them have bitten. Oh, that one's moving the bait a bit. coming in far too easily. Okay, my gear is just far too <laughs> heavy for this place. Well, following the pattern I had after the last one. There we go. 
let's settle 148 feet weight this time. And it's 140. It's still tilted at 148 feet on the last cast. So if the pattern repeats, it's going to be a common trout next. It was a common one didn't play with its bait like this. No. I'm not interested. Apparently dragonflies are good for the units. You need to be level 38 for those, so it'll be a while yet before I can test that. Just take it from nowhere. Well, look at the chat window. I mean, the chat window is telling you that there's a pattern going on here. I'm intelligent enough to know that this is not going likely to be a unique. But human enough to hope it is. You do get straight into a fish when you do that. That one's just pulled the line. That's definitely a trophy at least. Well, there you go. I, that's... that's... <laughs> I'm actually going to have to take a screenshot of that. Unique trophy, trophy, common, repeat. Oh, look at that. Happy. Very happy with that. 